happens here. See if we're there. Go over to my kind of looking around. Hey, if you're with us here, uh, let's see. I think we do have them here. Guys, hello. This is, we are live at the site. Now, it's a little foggy, and it's actually started to clear up a lot since we first got out here this morning. What we're trying, just looking at has been kind of a dreary, dreary day. Uh, we've seen some things going on out here, and from our vantage point, we see a little bit of cutting taking place out at the site. There was a piece of the bridge, part of that top. It wasn't a very large piece, but it's still a, a, a top piece of the of the bridge that we saw on a barge being transport uh, tr transported over and moored. Um, we got a lot of video and some, some great stills from that, and we're gonna we're gonna put a put a video out later and kind of show you the day. But we thought we'd go live here with you guys and um, maybe have the opportunity to to show you a little bit of what we're seeing um, from a live perspective. Hey everybody, welcome and thanks for joining us here today from Baltimore. We are at the Francis Scott Key Bridge and we're looking at the salvage efforts that are going on with uh, not only the Francis Scott Key Bridge but also the Dolly. Um, there's been some action going on over Dolly. We've seen some cranes kind of working back and forth over there. Thought we caught an image, but we were we were still pretty far away from uh, from the safety zone. We are right on the cusp of the safety zone. As a matter of fact, when we pulled up, uh, we did have uh, part of the the police, um, the transportation. I got Kurt. Kurt, what what exactly was the organization here locally? Maryland Transportation Authority. The Maryland Transportation Authority, their boat and their. Uh, kind of enforcing the safety zone around the bridge. Right. Now, that's their bridge, from what I understand. That's, that's correct. That is their bridge, and they're, main, they're, they're uh, working on the enforcement side. They came over and said, hey, you guys are fine. Just want to come over and uh, just kind of check in. I told them what we were doing and that we wanted uh, to get right up to the cusp of the safety line, but we wanted to respect their boundary and stay back. We certainly don't want to be a hindrance to the operation but we do want to be able to bring you guys the images that we're going to bring you uh, while this process is ongoing. So, yeah, as as this thing goes on, if you guys that know me know this is kind of what I do. You might hear that radio in the background. We're monitoring one of the VHF channels. Uh, and welcome to the Menorcan Mullet. Welcome to the Menorcan Mullet channel. We do have the boat here in Baltimore. It was It was quite the quite the ordeal, quite the odyssey. It was a 15 hour road trip from St. Simons Island, Georgia to Baltimore. Uh, yesterday we got in pretty late with the boat. Weren't able to get, wanted to get in on the water yesterday. It just, it was dark when we got here. It just was not a good idea. Uh, but we're here with you guys here today and, and we're here with you live. And guys, thanks for joining us. I'm not sure how many we've got here in the chat, but uh, Tiger, uh, are we doing okay? Is audio everything? If I could get a check from everybody, anybody in the chat, just to uh, just to give us a go, no go on audio or images that you guys are getting here. We've set up two cameras, one here on me, uh, so you guys can kind of put a face with the voice for those of you guys that don't know me, new to the channel. Um, my name is. Andy Jones, I uh, am referred to as Captain Andy, and for almost two years, I videoed the removal of the Golden Ray in my home port, and it kind of became my thing. I, I learned a lot about what goes on in the salvage, what kind of equipment is used, uh, techniques that are used, and I, I got a really healthy network of people 
in the salvage industry who contacted me through email or uh, other means to uh, kind of let me know what I was seeing, and they helped educate me a lot in the process. Um, and any questions I have, kind of explain things that I might not be able to understand at the time. So we're going to be able to hopefully do that for you guys uh, if, if those questions come up. Good. Um, do I have AIS on the boat? I do not. That's probably something I need to do. Give you guys an idea of where we are. We are just south of the Francis Scott Key Bridge, and we are, would you call this the uh, eastern or western shore? Yeah. So, so we're right up against the western shore, just south, and we are just out of the safety zone. So we're about 2,000 yards away from the bridge. And uh, we are very close to uh, the, co the command uh, uh, Fort Armistead where uh, all those first responders made the initial response and I think they still have operations going on over there uh, for for the uh, response to the Francis Scott Key Bridge but getting out here and getting close to the operation is kind of kind of what we try to do now um, a lot of you guys know that I like to drone I'm a licensed 107 pilot we're actually inside the TFR, the temporary flight restriction that's been placed over the site. It was three miles. They have condensed that to two miles now, so they've, they've kind of brought it in. And if the sun comes up and we get some good, some good clear area, we're going to try to get the drone up for you guys to be able to get a, get a little bit better image. The sun is just now starting to come out. We had some really foggy conditions when we first got so foggy. You couldn't even see the cranes at Dundalk um, behind us here. It was it was really dark and just kind of a dreary start. It's kind of chilly, a little bit breeze, a little bit of a breeze, but um, nothing excessive. A little light chop. The guys are getting a lot done. We're listening as the day goes on and kind of understanding what the process is is going on out here. And this is this is a pretty pretty advanced operation um, when you when you look at, at at the the vessels and the support vessels that are out here it is it, it is massive we're gonna try to get this camera back over so you guys could get a get a good get a get a good view hey guys watch watch everything you touch because I've got cameras mounted on everything you might be better just kind of lay off from us till I get finished with this live stream we're live right now so if y'all just want to lay back, I got cameras hanging all off the boat over here. We got some guys that are pulling up. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with uh, with Kurt. Um, Hello. Kurt has uh, been here helping us along with with Ralph. Um, great guys, and Ralph was just coming back out. He's, he had some some stuff that I'm actually staying with Ralph right now, and uh, we're trying. They're, they're just pulling up, but. A little bit of confusion going on here with the live stream. Hey, it looks like we got uh, South Africa is here with us, and we're going to just kind of check it. You kind of see what's going on with the uh, with the site. There are a lot, of, a lot of, a lot of stuff. Again, a gray day. I apologize for the for the video, but considering what we've got here, the sun is just starting to break out. And just now are we able to start getting some views in here. So I hope you guys are able to see this. Um, we're going to have better, better images, videos, and stills uh, tonight when we get our, our report up. Oh, yeah, hey, we got some folks from Germany in here with us today. My goodness. Um, I've got Kurt's in here trying to read, trying to read the, I'm, I'm actually trying to run cameras and read the chat, chat. Um, so it's a, it's a little bit of a challenge. I can't even see how many guys, how many folks we have uh, joining us here, but welcome. Um, for those of you who are just getting in here, we are live from the Francis Scott Key Bridge site. Where the dolly is still, still impaled up on that uh, P-51 
pier that is there. Um, they're working on that. We've seen quite a bit of activity going on today with the, uh, some crane work at the dolly. And in addition, we've seen a pretty sizable, set. it's not certainly not the largest, certainly nothing like what we saw Sunday being moved by uh, the Chesapeake 1000, but we, we are seeing uh, scrapping going on. They have heavy equipment that is right now working over on a barge, and it's breaking up pieces of that bridge section while the, that barge is moored out here. They're actively working on, on breaking up those pieces, and uh, they just transported another one and kind of moored that barge not far away from that that salvage barge. We have heard on the radio the clam dig, the clam dredge dredge. And what was it, what's the name of the operation that's over there doing doing the, the with the clam dredge? Um, I want to get that for you guys. But uh, they actually one of those guys uh, was actually um, uh, made a comment on on the uh, one of the videos we put out. So we know that we've got some guys who are actively out here involved with the process and very similar to what it was at Golden Ray uh, during the Golden Ray process where we have guys that are watching the channel. They might not be commenting, but we know that a lot of them are watching the channel and they're, you know, they can kind of see what's going on and uh, we're excited to be able to do that for them. And not only that, but be able to bring this video uh, to you guys and kind of show you guys what's going on out here as well. I really appreciate everything you guys, you guys are doing. Um, you know, we we talked about uh, Rob and Robin, and we're going to be getting back over to their place for some more video. And you guys that were able to help out with that situation over there, super nice people. I know that some people were were kind of questioning about who we were asking to donate. Listen, they, these guys that are over there, they they need they could use every every bit of help they could get. They've, um, Rob's been out of work for, for a while with, with an injury, and uh, it's, it's, he's just taken in an elderly member. Got a lot of people going on, and they were very gracious to allow us to access the property to get in and bring you guys some really fantastic video. Um, so thank you guys that were able to do that. Uh, Tiger, thanks, thanks for, for putting that back up. Uh, those people... work we've had L let me see if I can I may have to hold the microphone like this and see if we can get any better sound I'm not monitoring audio right now so if you guys are having trouble uh, let me know it's uh, been a challenge to say the least at any time we get breeze working over these mics it takes away some of the sensitivity of, of the mic so um, Thanks, John, for, for apologize for any buffering. I know that uh, our cell signal here is not spectacular with our service, but hopefully you guys are, be, are able to get some of this, some of this image and um, be able to enjoy it. Now, I'll tell you what the plan is. We came out, Kurt and I got out early this morning, and we placed waypoints across the river 1.25 nautical miles away from the bridge. So I do not want to interfere with the operation. And that's kind of a dot across. They kind of dot across the screen. We don't want to give these guys any reason for pop. They've got a heck of a task behind them. The Port of Baltimore is still closed. They got to get it open. There's a task at hand. We just want to be here to document it and be able to bring this event to you guys um, how we know best and that's through video and still images so we're going to do that as best we can and one thing we want to do is establish where we can and where we can't now uh, again we're I don't know if we're going to do it today because we're we're almost an IFR conditions here it's uh, visibility has gotten a lot better but it was really really poor when we first arrived on scene, John, uh, where they're processing the 
the the pieces of the France for what's going on here and just really what a big process this is. Folks are saying it's just fine. Um, if you guys are still having trouble hearing it, uh, maybe maybe you might want to check that that audio over on um, on your device. Sorry, uh, we're doing the best we can right now. Limit. Limit. Seaward. Is is that uh, guys that are um, doing the doing the work up there as well? Okay. So yeah, we're going to hopefully be able to get the, get some more stuff to you guys. Um, I know we're seeing a little bit of buffering on on the screen right here, and I apologize for that. I just wanted to check in with you guys, let you know we are on site, we are on scene, and we're doing what we can to bring you guys the best images. Uh, tonight we'll be posting uh, video and images from what we've what we've been able to see here today. Uh, we hope you can. Check out that video once it's posted on video or uh, on the YouTube. If you haven't done it yet, you know, I appreciate all you guys that have subscribed. I wish we had more subscribers. Um, that really helps us get our channel out by the number of subscribers. That's how the YouTube computer kind of kind of puts things in priority. If you got more subscribers, you're going to you're going to be getting feed a little more. So, if you haven't done it yet, please Hit that, hit the subscribe button, and then off to the right-hand side of it, there's going to be a little bell for notifications. Be sure you click on that and make sure that all your no notifications are opened up so that when we get videos out or we go live, you guys are notified and can join us pretty quick. Um, I really, really enjoy the feedback we get from you guys in the chat and also in the comments, and it also kind of helps me to understand what exactly it is uh, you guys are really looking to see or want to see. And any questions that are there, I try to answer them. The ones I know, I try to answer them. And if it's something that's really um, got my interest, you know, I'll, I'll reach out to some people and try to try to figure out what's going on with a, with a, a, a any kind of operation that's going on. So you guys join us for that, uh, for the video tonight, and check in with us. Uh, it is an honor to have you guys here. I'm excited to be here, and uh, just want to say you. Thanks, thanks for really the channel's really taken off here, with the with the dolly uh, striking the bridge here in Baltimore. Um, you guys know if you've been with my channel for a little while, you know what I do, and uh, I'm I'm uh, honored to be here. Uh, it's it's still there's still some some people that need to come home out here, and uh, I know that they that was big news. They. Uh, there's been some other things that have gone on that, that have that have helped out. You know, they opened up the channel to some of the uh, traffic, the recreational traffic that's been kind of bothered. And it's opened up one way. Either you're either coming in or going out. 7.30 in the evening. That is uh, well before operations really get going and then after they've concluded for the day that way you don't have to worry about uh, you know divers in the water because uh, people can say oh they're underneath the water no it's there's wake issues there's all kind of things there's uh, interferences that can be uh, generated by a lot of different engines if they're not grounded right with their communication sy systems it's best that those vessels just not be in the area while those operations are going on and there's not to mention there's a big safety factor with you know uh, tug barges with large loads on them but they are opening that channel and I think uh, a good number of vessels have taken advantage of it from what I understand now you still have to coordinate with the cap the deal but I think they do want a little bit of time to do, um, be able to know you're going to come I guess they have some protocols that you'll follow uh, when you do that. Uh, but the, the, the temporary channels, like, you just can't dro drive up there and go through them. There's a time and there's a procedure for that for that process to happen. So I wanted to share that with you guys. And then, of course, um, uh, the other the other worker was, was very huge to me. Hopefully that brings that family some some closure and they're able to find some peace with that um, 
certainly thinking about them. Um, there's still two, still two more folks out there, and it's, uh, it's, it's, it weighs on me when I'm out here. I think about that heavily when I'm here. But thank you. Thank you again for joining us. Um, I hope you guys will stick with us and uh, just be a part of the channel. That's all, that's all we can do, and we're going we're gonna to try to get these images to you. Hey, guys, thanks for joining us here for the live. You know what we're going to do, and uh, you guys stay safe out there. Thanks again, and 